Hey everybody, I'm going to talk about the Texas Motorist Protection Act. Uh, a lot of people get it confused with the Castle Doctrine, and I just want to explain the difference between the two. And also, I want to talk about the law that allows Texas residents to carry a gun in their car without the concealed handgun license. Before we get started, I need to say that this video is meant for entertainment purposes only, and you should not construe anything said in this video as valid legal advice. House Bill 1815 is what uh, the Texas Motors Protection Act is, and all it does is modify the penal code. Let's talk about the Castle Doctrine real quick. Castle Doctrine simply removes the requirement to retreat before using deadly force to defend yourself when you are in your own home. Now the stand your ground doctrine is similar to that but it actually expands the castle doctrine and it removes the requirement to retreat before using deadly force to defend yourself when you are anywhere you are legally allowed to be. Now the Motorist Protection Act is different from both of these laws in that there's no mention of any kind of a retreat requirement you know that's that's the hallmark of the castle doctrine and the stand your ground doctrine it talks about uh, removing retreat requirements motors protection act just allows you to carry a gun in your car now this is the penal code texas penal code 4602 unlawful carrying of weapons and you can see i've highlighted some portions of it in red and that just shows how the Motorist Protection Act modifies the penal code. Now a person commits an offense, that is, un you're unlawfully carrying a weapon if you are not either here at your own home or if you are not inside of or directly en route to a motor vehicle. Now this part of the law just allows you to get the gun from your house to your car. Obviously you're going to have to carry it to your car and it says if you're not en route to a motor vehicle then you're offending you're violating this law this portion of the law here allows you to carry a handgun in your motor vehicle uh, that you own or that you're controlling but it says that that handgun cannot be in plain view and you cannot be engaged in criminal activity you cannot be prohibited by law from possessing a firearm and you cannot be a member of a criminal street gang. So that portion of the penal code is basically how the Texas Motors Protection Act modified the penal code to allow us to carry a handgun in our car. Now what you're going to notice here is nowhere in this law does it mention anything about a concealed handgun license because to carry a gun in Texas in your own home or in your own car, you do not need a concealed handgun license. Note that a violation of this law is a Class A misdemeanor, which can be upgraded to a third degree felony if the offense is committed on the premises of a place that sells alcoholic beverages. So, it's important to know your rights so that you can exercise your rights. You can carry a gun in a car in Texas so long as it is not in plain view and you are not engaged in any criminal activity and you can do this without a concealed handgun license. Of course there are a few other laws in Texas that govern when you can and cannot carry a gun and where you can take that gun so make sure you consult all of those laws before you decide to carry a gun outside of your home or in a car. This is just a video talking about the law that allows you to carry it in your car but of course there's always going to be some restrictions and you need to consult the penal code for those. Do me a favor, like this video, share the video with your friends, visit my website at www.bestconcealedcarrygun101.com